There is a break that will be keyed by Josh Hart, who loves jumping off that right foot. Go get it, Chris! Rolls in. There it is. When Josh was here as a trailblazer, I asked him, have you always gone to that right leg jump? Because I don't I don't think anybody else in the league. When they play, they play to a crawl. You watch their offense, they get multiple actions. They use just about every second of that shot clock. So tonight's Haverstat is that 85.7 possessions per game in their last three games. Typically, they play around 95 possessions, but now they're holding opponents below 80 points in the last three games. It's because, yeah, they're good defensively, but they also, and that is why, particularly, they're keeping those scores way down. Well, to your point right there, they grind the clock down, eventually run out of time in a shot clock violation. The Blazers get it back. Eight fires a pill outside the Bible. Over in the corner to Higgins, who's given the Blazers a huge boost off the bench. That was a nice possession from Ashton from start to finish. His initial drive looked believable. It looked like a point guard ready to uh, call some problems to a Knicks defense that maybe isn't as prepared for him as they would be for someone like Anthony Simons. And it's hard work now flying around defensively helps the Blazers get this steal. Kamara, the deflection to set things in motion, and it's Murray who comes down in transition and sticks a triple. Blazers on which reset to three, too strong, way too strong. Benaya recovers. Belt high dribble, Banton swerves into the lane, toe drags and scores. He is a great processor in the fast break. As he's dribbling while well, he'll sprinkle in a nice jumper right there off the between the legs dribble from Matisse. Burks falls to the floor, no look inside. From Banton to Thibault off to Manaya and a foul at the cup. That's the way you get a break going. Yeah, he's getting fancy now on the break. It starts with the stop. And this is the person whose hands the Blazers want the ball in. If you got a three-on-one break, you get that ball centered. Now both sides are options. They're going into halftime. Where, oh, okay. Okay. He heard you. Uh, yeah, he got the memo. He did. Because it's an 11-point game right now. The Knicks want to widen this. They want to get this to 20 if they can. And the Blazers want to make this a real game. So going into halftime, they want this thing tight. Talk about some strategy, some X's and O's. Come out here and keep look from Chris. Murray brings it up himself. He has Ooh, designs oh, on oh, a oh. drop step hook as he gets Ananubi in deep. Beautiful move. Murray with 10. Here's the lob. Oh, the top. Top. Eight dropping down from the elbow to receive a jam. That is good stuff. That's more great vision from Scoot. At the same time. Here's Hardenstein. We're going to let the play roll and watch. I think Kev, he's thinking DA's going to eventually come over this direction. So that's what he's prepared for. But DA instead plants that right foot, turns it back to the bucket. Scoot sees the whole thing. Blazers remarkably. 12 sets of back-to-backs they have played already this year. Eight and three in the second of those two. Here's Aiden with a step. All the way down the shoot for the jam. Set up by a good defensive play on the Blazers and a hustle. And Thigh was able to flip it free. Aiden in flight. Wow. At the arrest allowed both players to play through, but then the foul was called on Tumani by the time Brunson got to the bucket. Tumani is not going to let up, though. Big play there from Aiden, who stays with the Rock. Four board, 17 points for Aiden. He drilled a three a moment ago. I thought he was going to raise on that one. Stay with it. Best offensive rebounded team in the NBA since beaten by Philly 79 73. Sort of rewrote the NBA record book. Step back jumpers up and in for Scoot Henderson. And the Knicks held Orlando to 74. DiVincenzo squares up and triggers. No, rebound to eight. Up the floor, Scoot. Got bumped, plays through the contact, laid it in, nice move. He just went the entire length of the floor. He was in that deep corner area by the Blazers bench. And once DA got the ball, he ran for that outlet.
Let me get that. It's time to go. Brunson has had control of this game, and he's the guy sitting on the bench right now. Bob inside to D.A. Somehow it got there. Bible throws it inside. Aiden scores and a foul. That is a really nice designed play from the Blazers to clear that backside along the baseline. But is going to run out here, and then Dwop is going to lift as well. So now there's no help in that back area. And all Matisse has to do is put it or two. Man trying to get separation from Hart does. Tapped up uh -oh. and in. Oh, eight and one and one. Yeah. That was as impressive of an, a 41% shooting from the field, which in and of itself is an accomplishment against this Knicks defense. It's been on a tear over the last three games. Holding opponents to under 80 points in three occasions on those three occasions and under 38% shooting from the field.